So things in Agus's social link are beginning to get just a little bit cute. She's beginning to uh, be a little more human, a little more girly, and maybe acknowledging the fact that she might have an actual crush on the main character and not just one that's derivative of her desire to protect him because she locked death away in him 10 years ago, but an actual human girl crush on the main character. See, that's what I'm talking about. That kind of conversation about life and death and how cruel it is, that's the kind of topic that makes me dislike the revival event so much. Let's see what Junpei has to say. See, he's moved on. As far as they're concerned, it never happened.
Ooh, that's a little ominous. Sure is. And finally, Yukari, all the way over here by her lonesome. Right, Koromaru, are you thinking about your future too? Must be. He's not in the mood to go out. He's gonna sit there and contemplate where he's gonna be in five years. Up to now, Igus's social link has been going pretty smoothly. But today we have to spend an afternoon of insignificance doing nothing because we need points before the next rank up. Where have you been? Where have I been, Akihiko? I was at Port Island Station watching a bunch of animals run around I guess. Where else would I be? Jeez. It's not like there's anything better to do. It's not like the world's gonna end in a week or so. So now that we have wrapped up Akinari's social link, tragically said goodbye to him, there's nothing to do on Sunday. Or is there? Well, technically there's not. There's nothing to do that will advance the time. When it comes time to make it go to evening, I'll probably just go outside and come right back in. But we can finally check out the video console. Everything should be uploaded. So I believe I said way back when that there's about one new video every month, and we're going to see some uh, faces that we haven't seen in a while, to be honest. After all, there have been people in the dorm that are no longer with us. So, let's do what our culture does best these days, and binge watch. Hmm, a shadow in the middle of town. It managed to take over public transportation. I should investigate whether this means it's finally begun. Monorail. Listen to the monorail in Monoro. 
Ooh, <laughs> I must make a note of that one. Luck played an uncomfortably large part in the victory, especially towards the end. If he hadn't guessed at the right controls, things could have been very bad. For shadows to work in a group to overrun large machines is unprecedented. The engine. That was an ingenious move. <laughs> What's with me today? I'm on a roll. Oh yeah, better write that one down too. One should always wear bright clothing at night. Otherwise, the shadows could make it dangerous to walk near traffic. Whoa, I'm getting a little off subject, but who cares? Hey, I should write all these down and show them off the next time everyone gets together. Hmm. Don't care for seafood? They also serve ground beef. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the status report anymore, but I'm having a blast. Let's see, what else? We finally have the clarification we've always wanted. Was Ikutsuki's personality just a front for his ingenious evil madness? No, he's just a nutball that really does love puns. He's completely out of his fucking mind. This way, officer. By the time I realized the door was halfway open, his room was already in this state. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a junior. I've been attempting to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last 30 minutes. It was careless of me to let my guard down. This dorm has been attacked in the past. Security is everyone's concern, but if anything happens to him, it's ultimately my responsibility. I hate to say it, Miss Kirijo, but this is most likely... Huh? Mitsuru-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to contact you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot and the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe and fell asleep. <sighs> well, I'm just glad you're safe. But if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Theft? What else could it be? Someone clearly tore through the room looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that he or she is executed. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room in fact vandalized? Uh, well, my room always looks like this. W what? B but you can't possibly live here in this state, can you? A and the door was open. Oh, right. I wanted to air the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... I think this case is closed. May I return to my duties, Miss Kiri Jo? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to see something so disgraceful. Uh, 
I apologize for all this. It seems my upbringing may have been more sheltered than I realized. Come on, at least yell at me or something. What's the deal with you calling the police over a messy room anyway? What did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. That fortune I drew on the way back, it was... Worst luck. That's one of my uh, more favorite of these videos. Well, for one, Junpei is totally one of those guys with that kind of room fitting into a very sad stereotype. But given that you can watch that in the summer, that's such a tip of the hat that, yes, Mitsuru is that sheltered and it is just a little bit cute. On to the next video. Oh, and by the way, for some reason, a screenshot of that particular scene is like the first image outside of the cover art on the Amazon page for this game. I don't know why. Fun fact. Hmm. I wonder if I should have gone for the one-piece suit instead. These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is my first time choosing my own swimsuit. But there wasn't much of a selection with the one-piece ones. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan for one last opinion. Although... I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! The low-frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's show. It said online it was very effective for its price, so if it helps even a little before we leave... Now, let's see... How do I turn this on? Oh! Oh, no! This... Oh! <laughs> it, it tickles! Oh! <laughs> what am I gonna do? Why won't it come off? <laughs> oh, no! Yamagishi, may I bother you for a second? Oh, <laughs> it's Mitsuru Senpai. <laughs> oh, I, I have to answer the door. Yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> coming. Oh, um, did I disturb you? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's not that important. Uh, never mind. Just carry on. Oh, <laughs> senpai! <laughs> Is this what it means to train your apps? <laughs> oh, someone help! <laughs> Are you beginning to wonder what the point is of these videos? Well, so am I. What exactly was Mitsuru thinking on the other side of the door? We'll never know. Damn it, I'm still not over that business in Yakushima. 
Is my way with girls really no better than Junpei's? How could they treat me the same as his lame pickup lines? Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, I can't think of many examples, but I can do that much at least. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. <sighs> when people speak to you, do you try to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake with inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling. <laughs> I gotta admit, they've got a point. Try testing yourself by speaking as if you're asking a female friend or co-worker to your favorite store. The two most important things are to smile and have a good sense of humor. Huh. Uh, hey there! What great timing to see you here. <laughs> Good one. I'm going to the beef bowl place. Wanna come with? <laughs> uh, humor. Humor. You know, the beef bowl place. Oh, hey, m maybe we could meet up there. <laughs> uh... What am I, the chairman? That's it. Screw this. If you like Akihiko just a little bit more after seeing that, then these videos are doing their job. I know I did the first time I saw that. You too can follow along on page 39 of this month's issue. Today we're making spicy pepper pasta. It's a great dish to keep your energy up through the summer heat. The key ingredient is green cayenne pepper. Remember to remove the seeds first. After that, we'll prepare some kelp broth. You'll need a pasta cooker about this size and... Pasta cooker? Do we have one here? <sighs> It's still pretty hot. It requires energy to maintain an appropriate external temperature. We have returned. <coughs> We're home, Korachan. Oh, shh. I'd feel awful if we woke up Shinjiro Senpai. He says that Shinjiro-san is not asleep. Senpai's magazine. It's the monthly guide to the family cooking show. Does Shinjiro Senpai enjoy cooking shows? Oh, that's a new issue. I didn't know this month's was out. Oh, um, it's nothing. I've just been interested in cooking lately. Let's go! Damn it, I forgot she understands dog talk. Huh, don't sweat it. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, boy. Next time I'll make you something too, Korachan. Now that's a very good one. For one, we got to see Shinjiro one last time. And I believe that also sort of canonizes Fuka's social link.
unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. <sighs> Surface body temperature reads 98.7 degrees. No fever. At this rate, he should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. I mustn't stay too long or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. Hmm. I need only sneak out again before morning. I will keep watch over him for a little longer. That one's a little weird, but still sweet, I suppose. I guess his heart is in the right place. I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. Well, I'm not at home, so I suppose being a little lax won't hurt. This fashion magazine. I saw Takiba buying one, so I thought I'd pick one up myself, but... This one piece is beloved by all, including friends, boyfriends, and boyfriends' friends. Alluring yet prudish, the ultimate combination. Oof. What are they talking about? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually just wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. Cute clothes, huh? Well, I do kind of want to try this. Pink one. Hmm. Not that I'd be able to pull it off. I'm not like Takiba. I should be careful to remember the distinction between clothes I want to wear and clothes I can wear. I knew this was a bad habit. It's a good way to catch a cold. I should get some rest. I have to wake up early again tomorrow. Now which pajamas should I wear tonight? Oh come on now, that one's just fan service. Though we see a little bit more into Mitsuru's, once again, very naive and sheltered personality. Fur is given as beautiful as she is. She doesn't really keep up with fashion, so as good as she looks, apparently that is more so the responsibility of being taken care of as the daughter of the Kuricho family than her own taste. goes like this? Welcome! Are you ready to order? Hmm. 
Kind of sucks that the school festival got canceled. Maybe I could just wear this around the dorm for the day. Sup, Yucatan? Hey, does that mean you gotta call me master? What's going on, Yukari? You're planning to work at Mitsuru's mansion or something? Ugh, forget it. I haven't had a chance to return this yet, but now that I look at it, it's a real uniform, not just a costume. Hey, I should take a picture before I give it back to Senpai. Yukari-chan, are you there? I need your help with something. Sure, one sec. Yeah, I should drag Fuka into this too. Wouldn't want to be the only one in the picture looking this way. <gasps> Yukari-chan! Those clothes! I've got a couple spare outfits, if you want to try one on. How about it? Huh? Well, wait a second! Don't worry, just hold still. This is a little tricky to put on, so it'll be faster if I help. Uh, wait! Yukari-chan! Oh! Okay, now that one was just way... That, that, that's like 200% fan service. It's one girl and then another girl. What's really funny about that is the Culture Festival was supposed to be cancelled in, what, September? And that was like October or something. So she still had the outfit and it would appear that Yukari was way into it. Like, super into it. is really too small to practice in. <sighs> but come to think of it, I don't have to practice in secret anymore. I don't live on the first floor in this dorm, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. I chose a long weapon so I wouldn't lose to an adult's reach. But the longer the weapon, the better it is for taller people. Ow! Ow! I hit my shin again. I hope I get taller soon. Whew. Maybe I should drink more milk. Mm. Uh, it hurts my stomach sometimes, though. Mm. That one's always been in a bit of a hurry to grow up, but don't worry, Ken, I think you're gonna be just fine in a few years. Next video. You know, future consultation is coming up. 
Yeah, what are we supposed to say during all that? Oh, Koro-chan. Aw, if you sleep wherever you want, you'll catch a cold. Hmm? What is it, I guess? There's a miniature camera near the ceiling. It's been camouflaged. Does that mean it's been recording whoever walks past here? Oh yeah, I forgot that you can check out anywhere in the dorm from the command room. Does that mean one has been placed in each of our rooms as well? Uh, I never thought about it. But probably so. I used the system last year. Huh? Is that true? Well, you need a key to use it, and I doubt any of the guys would dare look inside our rooms. <sighs> if they did, I'm gonna kick the living crap out of them before Nix can get his hands on them. Yukari-san, your vital signs are fluctuating. Are you in danger of... dying of shame? I guess. Anyway, we don't need that stupid system anymore. Let's ask Misuru Senpai to have it removed. You're right. The camera's recording right now. Hello? And that is all, I believe. There are no new recordings, we've seen them all. Now before you go on with your, oh that's deplorable, how could you spy on your teammates like that? Hey, hey, remember when we first moved into this dorm, they kind of, well the early members, they kind of, you know, watched us as we slept and monitored us and there was like crazy ass graphs going on and everything. And they're like, oh, I think he has the potential. Oh dude, really, do you think? Yeah, that happened. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is just revenge. F fair game. Ah, what a lovely day outside. What a time to be alive. And we're done. Where have you been? Uh, I stepped out for like five minutes and the sun went down. Anyway, let's get on to sleep. We have guidance counseling tomorrow.
Let's begin, shall we? I don't have much to say, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. Are you planning on going to college after you graduate or entering the workforce? I see. Well, if you've given serious thought to your decision, then I believe that is what you should do. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this decision is yours and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. But to be honest, I'm quite confident in you. You've really matured over this last year. I'm sure you're aware of it as well. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful senior year. Let's see, uh, who's next? Ah, Aiga-san. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you. I'm sorry I went off on my own. It's nothing, really. I just needed some time to think. When I finally calmed down after New Year's, I realized something. When I fought Ryoji, I got really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and embarrassed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. But I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either, and I didn't have those feelings then. I... I really have changed. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. You know, in the past if I didn't understand something I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But since I've decided to live, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. However, there is one thing I've come to understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death. But... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. I still don't know what it means to live yet. But I want to learn the answer. And I think I can if I'm with you. So please, please take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with you to the end. Please. <sighs> Thank you. Wasn't that nice? See, I'm telling you, the Iga Social Link in January, it... Oh, it just makes the last month of the game so great. It just fits in perfectly. So because Iga is now doing her counseling, that leaves us with nothing to do. She's the only Social Link left in the game, so we can't do a Social Link activity today. But... There is something we can do, something I have scheduled for today.
Where is it that I'm heading? Why, the Velvet Room, of course. Here we are, the final date with Elizabeth. Now, if somehow you missed the last time I talked about the dating system with Elizabeth, I screwed up and forgot to turn in the most recent date, which was at the end of November. I went back off camera and fixed that, so we can do this one. Here we are, the final date with Elizabeth. Let's see what happens. Spend your days. So, this is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. Regarding my request to visit your room, well, did it make you a little suspicious? In truth, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. During my forays into your world, I encountered many things. All of them are treasured memories, each one a polished glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. That's when I came to a realization. I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more central to your life. And so today, I requested to visit the one place in your world that I could learn the most about you. I requested to visit your room. If I may be so bold, Recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? How I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you? It was the first time I ever felt that way. Why did I feel so fulfilled? After coming here, I can finally answer that question. I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. We who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I'll put it more plainly. I'm naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times I seem to act quite strangely. However, even I am not blind to the significance of calling upon a gentleman in his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to guide me through it. Thank you. I 
feel like a completely different person than the Elizabeth who first stepped into your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. And that would put you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? That is why I'll draw a line under my visits here and remain on my side from now on. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I'm very grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. Okay, so we get an item to fuse a persona that I already obviously have in the compendium. Let's talk about the birds and the bees. Now, let's talk about how unique that scene really is. Romance and persona is very vague and mysterious. Truth is... When romance, when you date a girl in Persona, there's always kind of a gray area as to what happens when the main character spends time alone with that person. Like, oh, did, did they kiss off screen? Did something more happen? How romantic was it? It's always kind of like, uh, it's, it's whatever you want, whatever you want to believe. Whatever you think happened is what happened. But with Elizabeth... It's unquestionable. It is just straight up, will you sleep with me? And you can say yes or no. Now whether or not you accept doesn't actually affect the game. But there are reasons to accept. Now I know what you're thinking. Reasons? What the heck are you talking about? Like, you just want to, you know, a little feather in your cap, like, haha, I slept with Elizabeth in my file of Persona 3. Haha. -ha. No, there actually might be some significance to the Elizabeth dating scenes. Now, what am I referring to? You're just going to have to uh, either keep watching the channel or watch more Persona stuff that's already up if you're watching this in the future. Because there is a big backstory in the Persona universe that perhaps dates back to Persona 3. Now let's pick up our new weapon and commission our last one. I'm out of Nile weapons after this. There we go. We finally have Ken's weapon. And we will fuse... Oh, I have two. Nice. I can actually fuse another one after this. Here, take this. That'll be for future use. And we can leave. Once again, the Elizabeth dating system does not advance time, so if I could do something else right now, I would. But there really isn't anything to do, so we'll just head on home. your day that's my girl way to go I guess that is totally the attitude I need you to be in and that's right we are in 
the final week of Persona 3. Six nights to go until the full moon on Sunday.